Hello one and all to my second Mind Derp client video. Alright, so these two mods that I'm showing you to put on to Forge now, they're sort of okay as long as people don't abuse them. Um, because some people go into the advanced settings and they screw around with them and then they do things that they shouldn't be allowed to. Um, or just sort of cheating, giving them too much of an advantage. Anyway, uh, all it is is two different mods, uh, but one of them you need to um, do a bit more work for because you need a different launcher than just Forge to run it. What that launcher is, Light Loader. So you can just look up Light Loader on um, Minecraft Forms or if you can see that URL, uh, that gives you it there. So all you do is just hit this uh, direct download, you'll download automatically. Um, to wherever you want it. So that's all you need for that part. I'll explain from then on where the other parts are. You also want to go to this macro keybind. So just look up macro keybind in Google or Minecraft Forms. It'll bring you here and you want to download that. What it does, well, it puts mod, um, like you can put different commands to buttons like I have one for fly, I have one for vanish, I have one for a broadcast sort of thing. Anywho, and then the other one is inventory tweaks as is seen here. So just look up inventory tweaks, it is a forge only um, mod as well. Alright, um, like I was saying, sorry I went away from the computer for a sec. Um, inventory tweaks, uh, it doesn't always work because of a, some of it we have blocked as well because of we have no cheats um, but for the staff we can use it um, because it makes our life a little bit easier when we're trying to fix problems. Um, so anyway, get out of them. You go to where you download everything which for me is in this Minecraft thing. You'll have your light loader Alright, so all you do is you click on this, go run, uh, go install and just go chain to Minecraft Forge. Why do you have to do that? Well, because of Forge and Light Loader are two different sort of launchers pretty much and this way they both work. If only you use, if you use just Forge then the um, micro, macro won't work because that works off Light Loader only. And if you use light load only, then forge ones won't work. So anyway, you just go OK. It makes your profile. I'm not going to do that right now because it'll mess with my profile. Um, but that's pretty much what you do there. Also, you'll download the macro mod. I should read download that because that's, sometimes it goes uh, downloads as a jar folder, which it's going to do. No, not jar folder. Zip folder, which it's doing now. Uh, save as, just save it there. Alright, so you'll see I'll have this zip folder. Oh, go away. Alright, zip folder, which I need it to be like this. It needs to have the dot light mod at the end. So all you have to do is open it. And will, however you can, go file, save archive as, and then just simply type the dot light mod at the end, save. See it's telling me I've got a copy so I'm not going to um, do it. And then I'll save it as that. Uh, delete that. Now all you have to do now is just copy this and if you've got in you're getting in with tweaks as well, just copy that. Copy them both. Go into your dot minecraft uh, go into where is it mods and just paste them here as you can see I've got them already uh, and then it'll once you start the game it'll make this sort of here All right so you just launch your minecraft launcher your profiles if you've got forge and you use forge normally don't use your forge profile find your light loader profile because your light loader will then load this other profile as a second sort of one at the same time 
um, and if you got Optifine you need to put it into your light loader uh, version so if you're doing that it's light loading into here paste into there like you do normally uh, anyway and then oops I got that open didn't need that uh, light loader just hit play and it will load up when it wants to And so you can see with mods, it's loaded up my Optifine, which is actually in my light loader. It's loaded up my Forge ones, which are separate, and input tweaks there. Uh, it's loaded up everything. It doesn't show the, um, as you can see here, it only shows the stuff that Forge loads. Um, so, but you do actually have your in tweaks in if you go into options controls and you'll see macro settings and here we are see I've got like home farm back chest rooms which I have to change all those those are all old Oy. Uh, anywho so that's pretty much those two mods as well thanks